there's a lot of scenarios, there's a lot of lists about things you need for survival. But recently, one of the top experts in the survival field was asked the question, if you had one item that you could take, what would it be? It was a trash bag. <laughs> to carry a trash bag is the number one item. So today we're going to take a look at having a heavy meal trash bag, not the cheap, you know, garbage can that you find in many of your stores, but a really industrial strength 50 gallon trash bag. You can usually find these at home improvement stores like Lowe's and Home Depot, uh, but these are really solid heavy meal bags. We're going to look at different ways and reasons why you need to have one of these on you if you ever head out into the woods. So we're going to head out to the woods. Now expanded out, these trash bags can be really large, but folded up like this, this is something very easy to slip into your pocket. You don't even know it's there. And guys, one of the big things is weather can change at a moment's notice. I mean, you can be, you know, out on a hike and then a rainstorm come in. It could be an afternoon shower. It could be a downpour. And so the first thing we're going to look at is making this into a poncho. And this is something that you can use no matter what. You know, sometimes we forget our rain jackets or things like that. Just bring the bag out and get to the end that's closed. So the first thing we're going to do, and of course you should always have a knife with you, especially for EDC. We're just going to cut a, a gap or a hole and we're going to do a crescent. Mainly large enough to get your head through. Put this over your head. Now we have a poncho. Now you could actually put this obviously over like this to keep the rain out. You can also cut arms in the side to be able to maneuver, but if you want to keep your arms dry as well, if you have gear that you want to protect, put this over it and you're protected from the elements. After a good rainstorm, the ground can get very wet, uh, but also in cold weather, the ground can be very cold. And putting down a little bit of insulation on the ground, and this way you can even rest, you can lay down, you can just sit down and not get wet. One thing too is this will insulate you somewhat from the cold if the ground is cold. And guys, if you're sleeping, it can draw the heat right out of your body. Now while protecting us from the rain and the cold, uh, this can also protect you from the heat and can give you shelter. And so find a couple of trees and just measure out your bag. You can take a sharp stick and poke a hole or you can actually do it with your finger and do this right at the corners. Now we're going to use some paracord. You could use vine for this if you could find some vine that would work. Just go ahead and tie a knot through that hole. The tighter it is, the more it will secure the bag. Tie your paracord to the tree. Then go through the hole at the other end. And attach it to the other tree. Now you can use rocks or you can use a heavy limb to be able to give that some tension and hold this down. Now we have some shelter. Again, whether getting out of the sun, getting out of the rain, or just getting out of the elements. To get four sticks about a foot long a piece. We're going to drive each one into the ground. Next we're going to take our trash bag and we're going to roll it out. Just like you would roll it over a trash can. We're going to put each corner on the stick. Now if it's raining, you'll be able to collect water in the bag. But if you want to collect morning dew, spread out the sticks to a good distance and then have a gentle slope to the center. And this will allow as much water as possible to collect. But guys, water is critical. You don't want to dehydrate. And in the rule of threes, you can only live three days without water. And drinking rainwater and dew are great. Don't drink out of a stream. It can be full of contaminants. And one big thing is protecting your valuables, especially like a cell phone. Uh, you know, having a bag, you can stuff things down in here that you want to protect from the elements, especially water. And if you have to ford a river or something and you have to get it wet, this is one of the best ways to keep it dry. You get on the other side and then you can take it out of the bag. You can also do a lot of other transports with this. It's a lot easier to wrap this up and put it over your back. 
than to have to carry things in your hand. So it just frees up your hands. So guys, if you're ever going hiking in the woods, hunting, camping, fishing, whatever you're doing, just throw in one of these little trash bags. Industrial strength, heavy meal is the best way to go. And uh, this could really save your life for a multitude of different reasons. And guys, if you're serious about survival and prepping, check out the Survival Dispatch Insider. It is an exclusive website that is for the prepper and survivalist. I upload one video there a week uh, that is not shown on the Sensible Prepper channel. And I'll have a link down below in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. With his guest, fully in a winter situation, the ground, but in a very cold environment or typical, <clears throat> in a rainy seat. And we have our trash bag. Now we're gonna take four. This will protect it and keep it sealed.